okay, I got him. Hello everyone, Jana here. Welcome back to my channel. Woo! Yay! I'm tired. It's been a long week. Um, but today I am going to be doing Ooh, that looks like it's almost cut open. Anyways, my Alcrate unboxing. That's not good. Uh oh. Maybe it was the way it was delivered. Um Yeah, okay. That was weird. Like the box is ripping. Anyways. I have October's Alcrate, which is lost in a bookstore. I just got it today. Well, it came in the mail, like, Monday. I just got it today. On Wednesday. October's time is lost in a bookstore. I have no idea. I'm, I don't know. I don't even know what this channel is anymore. Okay. Open it up. Then we can take a look. Whoa, hello. The little spoiler card fell out. I can barely hold it up. It's so heavy. Ooh, there's the spoiler card. I actually really like that spoiler card. This is pretty cool. Ooh, I just realized she has a wand. That's neat. I love it. That's neat. Okay, so let's get going in here. Oh, we're just gonna do everything on top. So we got from out of print bur book nerd socks. I think they say that on each one, book and nerd. <gasps> That's neat. Book nerd. From out of print. Ooh. Sorry, I'm like reading the sock size. Okay, that should fit, nine to 11. That's a small, I'm gonna say it's 10, but never feels small to me. Okay. Ooh, then we got Love of reading tea strainer, a tea infuser. I have one that's a dinosaur, but so this heart one's pretty cute. That's cute. And then we got some tea, which is choco mint truffle from the tea spot. Ooh, neat. Oh, man, we get a little Oh, let's see here. Little pin. My phone sucks. Like, it won't even, because I've tried to take pictures of, like, these really big, the really big pumpkin spiders that are, like, out. So I can put it on Instagram. Because that's what my Instagram is. Like, barely any books, but, like, nature and wildlife. <laughs> but they're, like, this big, but my phone will never want to focus. I'm like, really? You should focus. Okay. And then we got this. Oh, it is. It's the mirror of Irised, and I love it. It's so cute. That's cute. That's basically what I would see. Ooh. I'm trying not, because there's two books in here, and I'm trying not to take them out. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to take everything else out, so, so then we can do that last. <gasps> this is cute. Books are a unique por portable magic. <gasps> Can this put a book inside? Okay, I just got a Barnes & Noble order today. So let's, <gasps> let's see. Oh my gosh. That is cute. Okay, I have like a, something coming up. Oh my gosh. That is cute. Okay. Sorry, that was my like Barnes & Noble order. <laughs> okay. All right. Now the books. The good stuff. There's two books. Two hardcover books. They've sent two books in the past. But it's always been like a hardcover book. And then like. I'm just like pulling a paperback book. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. Um, You all know what a hardcover paperback are. So there's two hardcover books in here. And I already see the first one. And I'm excited about it. Because I knew it was going to be in here. And I really wanted to read it. It's gonna have to wait because like I have other reads lined up for the next week, which is Pride, which is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice by Evie Zaboy, and I really love this cover because I saw it at Costco the other day and I had to keep myself from buying it because I really want to read it. So I like retellings. I've 
I've tried to read Pride and Prejudice. I, I can't. So I love retellings. And then I like going on and looking up, you know, the story. And then be like, oh, that's where it's different. Okay, but let's open it up. And I like that it's pink other than the blue. Look at that. And it's pink on the inside. With this beautiful, beautiful end pages. I love that. Let's get back up. Ooh, it's the same. Beautiful end pages. I love it. Also, like, give me anything pink on it. That's my, ooh, and then the matching bookmark. Ooh, you run this block, this hood, my heart. Ooh, I can't wait to read it. Like, that's one of my very next reads. And it says, dear reader, welcome to Bushwick. I loved writing this sweet story set in the neighborhood I grew up in. It's filled with love, laughter, hopes, and dreams. In the heart of it all, Zuri Benitez, a girl caught between the community she loves and the boy who changes, who challenges her ideas about him, herself, and the world. This Pride and Prejudice remix has a beat, uh, a beat of its own, but the rhythm is, but the rhythm is familiar. I can read, so step into these pages as if they're a big block of poetry and enjoy from Brooklyn with love. He, he reads the boy. Yeah, so it's set in Brooklyn, which is basically what I know. It's a Pride and Prejudice re uh, retelling set in Brooklyn. All right, so that was the first book. We got another book in here. Book number two. I'll pull it out. Which is A Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. I have another book on her, by her, on her, by her that I've never read. I've had it for like three or four years now when I was getting back into reading after college. Because during college I was like, I can't read for f I mean I would read a book every now and then for fun but like I couldn't read and do my classes and have and be okay so like I've had it and I'm like um I'm not gonna read this yet and I still haven't read it yet so I don't know how I feel about her writing I don't even know what this book is about but look at that that's cool so this says, absolute power can corrupt even the purest of hearts. I swear there's a saying similar to that somewhere. Ooh. I love matching bookmarks, because then I like using them in the actual book. Where is the note? Okay. Dear reader, welcome to the land of Iwagato. Prepare to sw be swept away in, in a tale of adventure heavily flavored by my favorite myths from Japan. Samurai, shinobi... Kitsinu, Oni, and more. I'll lurk within these pages. I got flashbacks from some from from a certain game. Um, lurk within these pages. Honor and destiny entwine, and the music of their motion is fire and magic and steel. The time is the time of prophecy has come. The dragon will rise if it scrolls if the scrolls that summon the great Kami. Call, so call me or Kami? Oh, call me, probably. Fall into the wrong hands. The world as we know it will end. Can a young Kitsunu, Kitsinu, I'm probably saying that wrong, stand against the forces of evil? Perhaps, but she cannot do it alone. Fox, demon hunter, Ronan, samurai, Miko, Maiko, all must work together if they are to save you, Iwagato, Ganbatane, Kutsutasuni. Really cook out Ugh. My pronunciation of Japanese words is horrible. Okay, I have no idea what this book is about. At least this one I kind of knew, but let's read the. I kind of knew, I knew, but let's let's read the inside of this one. One thousand years ago, the great Kami dragon was summoned to grant a single terrible wish, in the land of I Iwagato. I Iwagato was plunged into an age of darkness and chaos. Now, for whoever holds the scroll of a thousand prayers, a new wish will be granted. A new age is about to dawn. Raised, <laughs> raised, raised by the monks of the, in the isolated, silent wind temple, Yumi, Yumiko has trained all her life to hide 
her yokai we yo kai ne yokai I swear to pronounce words half kitsunu half human her skill with illusion is matched only by her penchant for mischief until the day her home burned into burned to the ground her adoptive family is brut is, is brut why can't I read brutally slain and she is forced to flee for her life with the temple's greatest treasure one part of the ancient scroll there is there are many who would claim the dragon's wish for their own cage Tatsam Tatsimu is one such hunter under orders to receive the scroll at any cost. Fate brings Kagan Yukim, Yukimo Yumiko okay. together with a promise to lead him to the scroll. An uneasy alliance is formed offering Yuki, Yumiko her best hope for survival but he sees what she has hidden away and her deception could ultimately tear them apart with any with an army of demons at her heels and the likeliest of allies at her side Yumiko's secrets are more than a matter of life or death they are the key to the fate of the world itself that sounds pretty cool okay I really want to read that now that sounds pretty cool. I had no idea what it was about. All right. So we got this, which shows us the different in the covers. The original cover and then the Elkrate cover, which see, this one was blue right here. This one was pink, which that one I already knew. And then this one, Shadow of the Fox, just looks like it's inverted. There's that. There's that. All right, which this sounds pretty cool. Which I had never heard of this, but it sounds pretty cool, and I like the cover. It's very pretty. All right, so let's see what next month is, which is Rise from the Ashes. Woo! But for a sneak peek, every November box will include an exclusive wax seal kit from Team Al. What? It's not just pictured here. It's not pictured here, but it's beautiful. Okay, that's cool. I have no... Unless I'm going to become the Phantom of the Opera, I have no use for a wax seal, but that is neat. Um, that's it for today. So that's pretty cool with the, uh... Two bucks. What? No, yeah, they're different sizes, but... What? Okay. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Then, bye!